Okay guys, so today I'm filming a requested video. I mentioned this in a ranking video where I wanted to compare the Violet's palette with the Menagerie Violet Ink palette. A lot of you had said you had this palette and you were contemplating needing this one and then I decided let me pull out some of my little purple palettes so we can compare things and just do a little swatching. I don't typically do videos like this but I thought hey it's always fun to switch things up. So here are some of my little purple contenders. This is the colored Rain Power palette. It doesn't have a ton of purple in it, but I thought I would whip it out just in case. You can get this collection on a pretty good sale every once in a while. And then this one is of course discontinued, but I know Angelica talks about this little mini palette from ColourPop. Actually, I can't, yeah, it is discontinued, um, but I thought I'd try it to you guys in case you had it. But here are the main two contenders today. We have the Violet Ink palette, as you can see, unused. <laughs> and then this is the Juvia's Place palette. So let me go ahead and swatch and show you guys. Let's see here. So what shades are we thinking are similar? For sure, right off the bat, this dark purple Juvius. So I think I'm gonna go like that. That's the Juvius place side. I've never done a video like this, you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, and then I'm gonna swatch this dark purple from the Menagerie palette. How do people do this? As you can see, the Menagerie definitely looks a little more ink purple and the Juvius looks a little bit darker, but in the pan, they look pretty similar. Next, I would swatch probably these two. So this matte from Juvius Place and then this matte from the Violet Ink. That needs to get built up a little bit. Again, I'm seeing more of a blue. This is definitely more of a purple shade. Okay, next comparison I think is this shimmer shade from Juvius and then this from the Violet Ink. Ooh, okay, do you see that? This one definitely has like a duochrome effect from the Menagerie palette. The Juvius Place palette definitely is just more of a purple shade while the duochrome on the Menagerie palette is gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, next I think we need to swatch this purple from the Juvia's Place palette. And then this purple from the Violet Ink palette. There's the finger swatches. And there they are. So on this side is all the Menagerie swatches and this side is the Juvia's swatches, just so you guys know. So the two shades I have left for Juvia's are these two. And I'm just gonna show you guys. So there is the Juvia's palette entirely swatched on my, is this the right hand side? Oh, I'm so confused. On this side is Juvia's Place. And then it's these two matte shades that I didn't swatch from the Violet Ink palette from Nodri. So let me just swatch those two. And then there's, so none of them are really that similar if you ask me. I feel like if you're contemplating buying one or the other, you can definitely get away with having both in your collection. So there's that. Take a good look. And then here is a side-by-side -side of those two palettes again for you guys. And then here is the Violet Ink palette with the Color pop, it's my pleasure and lilac you a lot. Uh, let me see if I see any similarities here. I mean a little bit here and there, but I think you could definitely have both of those. I'm gonna move out this palette and stick the little Juvia's palette in here. So there's the color pop with the Juvia's Place palette in the middle. And then here's a little Colourpop palette with the Juvia's. This one looks actually more berry now next to the violets. And then here is the 
Menagerie palette. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Colored Rain palette. So I um, definitely really like all of these palettes for different reasons. I haven't really dipped into this one in a long, long time. I'm contemplating getting rid of this, but obviously I held on to it and I'm glad I did. I don't have the other palette I would love to compare it to is the Natasha Denona um, palette, but I don't have the little mini lilac. And actually, I just remembered I have one more palette I want to show you guys this with. Okay, here is the other palette that I knew I wanted to show you guys and forgot about. So this is the Huda Beauty um, Amethyst Obsessions palette from a while back. And yeah, I think again, like these two purples, but nothing is really like jumping out as dupes. So in conclusion, do you need both? Should you get both? Of course, you know, it depends on your budget, but I personally don't think they would dupe each other out. So if you've been curious about getting one of them or both of them, I would say you should go ahead and do that. So that is it for my little purple video. Let me know if you guys wanna see more like this. I can definitely try to film something like this again. I know it's not the lengthiest video, but it's kind of fun to do the comparison. And I hope you found it useful and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.